What's up, everybody? I'm Matt. I'm Zach. This is Beard Banter. Today, we're going to cover the difference between beard shampoo and conditioner and just the normal hair shampoo and conditioner. So, fellas, listen closely. Stop using your woman shampoo and conditioner or normal hair shampoo and conditioner because it is going to damage your beard. This is something that we get asked all the time about. Hey, what's the difference? What's the difference? And I even got asked by somebody this morning and I was like, hey, we're going to do a YouTube video on this. So, make sure you check it out tomorrow, which is right now because you're watching this. So, um, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up. We're going to hit you with a, a little bit of an intro to make sure you're super serious that you'll come back and watch the difference between the beard shampoo and the normal shampoo. So if you're ready, intro time. We'll see you in just another 30 seconds. <laughs> Welcome back. We know you're serious about learning the difference between beard shampoo and conditioner and then just the normal stuff that you throw in your hair. So Zach's going to go, Zach's going to kick this off and, and start to tell you why you shouldn't do that. And please listen to us. We know what we're talking about. We have a little bit of knowledge. I don't know if you can see, but like wizards, if we were, you know, Gandalf, I mean, he's straight up Gandalf. I mean, I'm, but I'd be like young Gandalf, I guess. I could still like, you know, throw some magic spells out there. So Wait, did you just call me old? Uh, whatever. Anyways. Based on beard length, yeah, you would be a lot more far along in the wizardry status yeah. than I would be if it went by beard growth, I guess. But, okay, yeah. So I know it's really easy to grab like, you know, just that, that shampoo and throw it on your head. That's – it's you get in the shower, you're like, it's right here. Let's just go ahead and do it. But, like – we're telling you right now, and please listen, like, do not do that. There are beard shampoo and beard conditioners that are meant for your beard. I know that they're a little bit more expensive, but the way I look at it and the way I would say Matt looks at it is like, if you're willing to go to this length to grow a beard, or if you're willing to grow a beard and you want your beard to eventually get to where ours are at, then you're going to have to take care of it. There's no like, oh, I can just use whatever and it's going to get to that length. If we did that, our beards would not look the way they look. The reason why our beards look the way we they look is because we have put time, effort, and I know it sucks, but we've put money into it. Like it's a, mm -hmm. it's a beauty thing. You put money into it, you take care of it. And that shows the more, like, it's not the more you spend, the more it shows. But, you know, if you go from spending nothing and just like, you know, throw some random like bar soap or something in your beard every now and then. And then you look at someone who goes the extra mile and buys the beard soap or the beard shampoo, beard conditioner, the oils, the bombs, the brushes, just the, the line of stuff that is made for beards. You're going to see something that is so much nicer of a product than the person that just throws in some random shampoo and that's it. And if you don't want to listen to what we have to say and why it's terrible and you're going to continue to use these products, you're going to unfortunately kill your beard. We could get all scientific on why and, and everything, but we're going to do that in another video coming up because we want to slowly bring up your beard education. That's why we started with Beard Basics. Then we told you about oils. We told you about butters. And now we want to explain very clearly the difference between the, um, the beard shampoo and conditioner and the normal stuff. So Zach's going to tell you a little bit more about the difference and why the, um, the, the, the shampoo and conditioner for your hair is not meant for your beard and what it's going to do for your beard. So, you know, when you go into the store and you're looking at shampoos, and I know especially if you look in like the women's shampoos, I know most guys are just grabbing two in one. Don't put two in one in your beard. Just do not do it. It's not good for your head most of the time. It's definitely not going to be good for your face and for the skin underneath your beard. But if you go and look at like all the hair, uh, the hair products that women have for their hair and the shampoos and conditioners, they have some for curly hair. They have for straight hair. They have it for colored hair. They have it for gray hair. They have it for, you know, any, any line of hair that any kind of hair that they have, they have special shampoo for it. So why would they not have special stuff for your beard? So like all the hair products that you use on the top of your head, they take... A lot of them have chemicals that like, you know, remove the oils from your hair and you don't want to do that to your beard. You spend all day putting products in, you know, keeping it nice and oil, having that nice shine to it. And then why would you go put something in there that would just completely dry it out and dry the skin out underneath it? You know, 
getting dandruff on your face is such a real thing that, you know, we have both completely experienced. Um, you go to scratch your beard and you see some flakes come out and you're just like, oh shit, I definitely need to do something about that. I need to use some more oils. But the thing is with beard shampoos and conditioners is they use all, all natural products, you know, good ones. I'm sure there's some out there that use some BS stuff that you don't want to put in your beard. So don't trust everything just because it says beard shampoo and conditioner. Like look on the back and see what they put in it. Like you have to do some research. You cannot just, you can't just be like, oh, it said beard and beard shampoo, beard conditioner. I'm going to put it in because like I could sell you, I could buy a bottle of like pert and put beard shampoo and conditioner on it. Like it doesn't, you know, it could be that bad for you. So go read the ingredients, but most of the good ones will have all natural stuff with natural oils and stuff that will help cleanse your beard, but also keep the, like, keep the oils in there. So when you go to clean, like when you go to shampoo and condition it and dry it out and dry it off after the shower, you can have it nice and good, like nice and sh uh, healthy looking shine to it. You, shapely, nice, doesn't look like it's brittle or anything like that. You can tell a big difference between someone that uses beard shampoos and regular shampoos and beard conditioners and regular conditioners. Exactly, exactly. Think of it as if you were to take the roots out of a plant, is it going to continue to grow? No, it's going to slowly wither and get real thin. It's, that's going to, what's going to happen if you continue to use regular shampoos filled with those chemicals, strip all the oil, and then your beard is going to slowly wither away, look dry. And unfortunately, your beard is going to die. So again, there's going to be a little bit of a budget. There's going to be a little bit of a price added to it, but it is properly needed. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about in a little bit here, not the full routine, but how often you should actually use these products in your beard. Because you might think, man, I go through this, you know, two in one in a couple of weeks, but you're not going to use this stuff on your beard just as much. So we're going to get to that in just a second. All right, this isn't going to be a video that's going to be a full routine because we are going to do that pretty soon. So what we want to tell you is do not wash and shampoo and conditioner every single day because overusing products is just as bad as using the wrong products or not using them at all. So you should, you should wash and shampoo your beard probably two to three times a week. Me personally, I shampoo once, once a week and then I condition the beard every other day day but every beard is different so if you notice that you know your body's producing too much oil not enough oil maybe your profession is a little bit hard on your beard adjust your routine to your beard because every beard is different absolutely too and like you know if you're having to shampoo your beard a lot you know from whatever your job is me i have to shampoo my beard a little bit more than matt does i have to do mine like I shampoo and condition it like two to three times a week and sometimes three because being a barber, I get a bunch of hair stuck in my beard. And I've noticed that if I just try to run water through it, after I get out of the shower and dry it, there'll still be just like little hairs falling out. And it's from clients that I have cut that day. So the best thing for me is I, you know, I throw in shampoo, but since I shampoo it that much, I'm not leaving the shampoo in for long at all. I'm getting in there, I'm, you know, rubbing my hands, getting it through real quick and then just washing it out. So it's not really sitting on my face and having time to suck up that many oils. It's just a quick, hey, let me get the top dirt and grime off this beard real quick. And then I throw a conditioner in and I leave the conditioner in for a you know, couple minutes just so it you know keeps, puts some more oils back into my beard and onto my face. And I make sure I get it really on the skin in there with those conditioners because that will save your beard. But if you do have to wash it more than just like twice a week, don't leave the shampoo in for long. As you're putting that shampoo in and rubbing it through your face, you almost need to be standing in that shower head just so it's just getting that grime off that you want. It's not stripping those essential oils that you need on your beard. Mm -hmm, exactly. And one thing to note too, is it's really good and beneficial to rinse the products out with cold or cool water because this is actually going to allow the conditioner to seal properly into the hair and kind of close the cuticles back down. So again, we're not scientists and we're not going to break down all the sciencey stuff unless you really want to. Put a comment in the uh in in the comments down below if you want to see the sciencey stuff. But again, we're just trying to uh you know educate you. We're we're not scientists, we're beard educators. If we were scientists, we'd be beard guys, the science guys. 
One more thing to touch on if you're still watching this, and if you are, thank you so much. You are serious in taking your beard to the next level, and we greatly appreciate it. Just because you're now putting proper beard shampoo and proper beard conditioner in your beard doesn't mean you stop the beard oil, beard balm, or butter that we showed you in prior videos. Don't stop that routine. Again, we're not going to show you a full routine in this video because we want to do a proper full routine from the start of, uh, of the routine all the way down in, um, uh, to the end of it for a weekly routine. So again, continue your beard oil, butter, and bomb routine that we talked about. And if you guys um, you know, have any questions or haven't seen that video, just cycle back a couple videos and you can see what we're talking about. Just remember, like Matt said, you know, getting beard shampoo and conditioner does not make you not need to use the other beard products. Stacking each one of these on top of each other is what's going to give you the healthiest beard and the best looking beard. So it all starts from the top. You know, you shampoo, condition it, make it look good, make it feel good, make it have a good base to build upon. Throw some oils on that skin just to keep your skin happy your hair follicles healthy and growing how they should be. And then throw some beard balm on to keep that beard nice and contained, um, nice and healthy and hydrated. It's all a process, you know, and we're slowly unveiling, unveiling parts of the process to show you guys like what the full routine is. And then once, once you see all this stuff that we go through, we'll show you the full routine that we go through every day and what it's like to be a bearded guy because before you take the step of growing out a beard, you have to know that it's a lot easier to just wake up and shave your face every morning. It takes a lot less time, takes a lot less effort, a lot less money. And I'm not saying I'm not trying to push you to shave your face because that's dumb. Look at how good we look. You can't, you can't get this with a shaved face, but it's something that you're going to have to put work into. These don't come naturally overnight. Like, yes, I will say that genetics play a huge part in how your beard grows, but what you put in in it, put in your beard is what like shows in the final product. I could still have a long beard and I could look like a terrible, terrible human being, mm -hmm. but I put enough product in it and enough effort and love and patience and, you know, just all around, like our lives are revolved around beards. He's beard laws. I'm beard gang actual, like, it's not an identity, but at the same time, it almost is because like when you put this much time and care into something like my beard looks nicer than my whole body. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I put more love and care into this beard than I do into my body. I might shove McDonald's in my mouth every day, but I can tell you what, I might get a huge dad bod, but my beard's still going to always be on point. <laughs> you know, think of it as kind of a you're doing a puzzle right now we're giving you the corners we're giving you the outside of the puzzle and when you get through this entire beard education and then you put in that final puzzle piece it's all going to come together it's all going to make sense and you're going to have the full picture of what it takes to have the most amazing beard that you can have all right, so if you have any questions or there's any other content or any video ideas that you do want, please leave a comment and we will answer them and we will do future videos for them. And again, this is all information that we have learned over the years and we're here really to help you help your beard get to where you need to go to. So again, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you're still watching this, thank you so much. You are obviously super, uh, super excited to take your beard to the next level. Subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And again, make sure if you have any questions, let us know. And again, I'm Matt. I'm Zach. And this is Beard Banter. Stay safe. Stay bearded. Peace. Peace.